Hi, this is Hannah Morgan. I'm the Career Sherpa Guide for Lifetime Career Navigation. Back in January, I wrote a post on how to find great people to connect with on LinkedIn. And I was able to get feedback from a lot of great career professionals on the topic on finding great people. One of the things that I've discovered as I've been talking to people is that they don't know some of the basics and functionality of LinkedIn. So what I thought I'd do with this movie is give you an idea of how you can find people on LinkedIn to connect with. The power of LinkedIn really doesn't start happening until you have about a hundred connections or so. So it's important to build up your, the number of connections as soon as possible. From your home page on LinkedIn, you can see over here in the right hand corner, right hand top, a listing of three people you might know, you may know. So LinkedIn has pulled these people based on either recent connections or groups that I'm a part of. I could, if I decided to connect with one of these people, click on the connect link and indicate how Paulette and I know each other. Did we work together? In other words, were we colleagues? Did we go to college or school together? Have we done business together? And that can be pretty loosely interpreted. Or are they a friend? The other and the I don't know are dangerous to use and probably won't reap you much benefit. The most important part of this LinkedIn invitation is the personalization of your message. Clearly tell Paulette how you know her, why you want to connect with her, so she'll have no reason whatsoever to doubt the integrity of your in request or be tempted not to accept it. So that's a one really easy way to do that, to connect with people, um, by using the LinkedIn suggestions. The other way is if you don't recognize any of those people, you can click on the See More link and that will take you to LinkedIn's collection of different ways you might be able to connect with people. People may, you may know is a very long list of people that you have either connections in common with or you share a group with. So you can scroll through there and see if there are any people that you want to connect with one by one. Send each one a personalized note. It could be that you would like to connect with people that you used to work with at one point in time. You're not sure where, there are, where they are. What LinkedIn does based on the companies or organizations that you've listed in your experience section is show colleagues who at one point have listed that same business or organization on, on their work experience. So to see the colleagues that I used to work with or that work uh, at Rochester Works, this would be the long listing. This shows a listing of all people who at one point have listed that they worked for Rochester Works. Now I can one by one, remember, select somebody and Remind them I'm going to add a personal note to my invitation and I'm going to tell this person how I know them and why I want to connect. So that's the, the colleagues section. If there were classmates that you wanted to connect with, people that you went to school with, again that's pulling from your college and education section from your LinkedIn profile. So I can use these three ways to connect with people. There's also Another way I can do this, and it falls under the people you may know. If I have identified target companies that I would like to work for, I can look over here in the filter by and show all of these people I may know by companies that they worked for currently or in the past. I can look for people by school they may have attended. And these are all the different ways in which I can start building my LinkedIn network to reach the 100 mile mark because, as I said, the power really starts happening when you hit 100 or more connections. This is Hannah Morgan, Career Sherpa, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have ideas or suggestions for future uh, movies, screenshots, let me know. Drop me a line, send me an email, Morgan at careersherpa.net. Thanks so much.